Again, there is a lot of severe storm activity throughout southern Arizona. Let's get right to Chief Meteorologist Matt Bro to get the very latest. Matt. Sean, that was certainly the case. Severe thunderstorm warnings have all been allowed to expire, so we're happy about that. In its wake, though, some very, very heavy rains, and that's prompting flash flood warnings for much of Metro Tucson, especially on the northwest side of town. Let me step off. This till 645. We're talking about one to two inches of rain that fell in a matter of about a half an hour on Tucson northwest side of town. This Oracle Road, this I-10, if you're in that vicinity across northeastern Pima County, southeastern Pinal County, you are under the gun. Please do not cross any flooded roadways. Also on Tucson southwest side of town, we saw some heavy rains near the Tucson Estates area, so flash flood warning also until 6 o'clock this evening. Uh, we are looking at really the rain stopping. Let's loop this for you. We can see really not tracking much in the way of rain. So just allow the waters to recede a little bit by 645. I think that'll be a thing of the past. Let's continue our Doppler tour now that we're on it. I think overall the remainder of tonight should be quieter than we've seen in recent nights, and that is courtesy of the fact that we've already stabilized that atmosphere. We've seen a lot of storms. That said, we still can't rule out some more storms. We're all under a flash flood watch until 5 a.m tomorrow morning. Let's see what's happening across Cochise County. We're also tracking a couple of showers and thunderstorms. They're forming on the Chiricahua Mountains are moving off to the west. We'll see if these can't get a little bit more organized over the next several hours. Then finally into western sections of Pima County. We're also tracking a couple of showers and thunderstorms, but no statements with this. No flooding problems uh, that we're seeing so far with the storms across central and western Pima County. So yes, we are in a moderate to high grade monsoon pattern here in the first few days of the month of August. Sean, how long does it stick around? We'll pinpoint that and detail it in your full forecast. We'll see you back here in just a few minutes, Sean. Okay, Matt, as we keep reminding people, be safe on the roads out there. And with these severe storms in our area, we have a traffic alert for you. Pima County Sheriff's deputies have responded to multiple down power poles on the northwest side. Linda Vista Boulevard is closed between Bald Eagle Avenue and Waterbuck Drive. Those roads will remain closed while crews work to safely remove and repair those down power poles. If you're traveling in the area, you're asked to find an alternate route.